Hi everyone, Messy Coda back again with another asset store review, this time with Angry Mesh's Winter Environment Nature Pack. Now we've played about with Angry Mesh before when we've had his PBR Rocks Pack on, and I loved it so much I'm actually using it in my projects. Is this going to be any different? Well, straight away you can see it's a very high production quality, normally $55 on the asset store. Well, it's made madness and $55, half of that because 50% off is $27.50. And I think straight away that's going to be a bargain because we've got photorealistic textures. We've got lovely, lovely looking trees, better than speed tree in my opinion. We've got rocks, we've got planks, we've got fences, we've got grass. And also we've got a GPU wind system that is made called AG Global Settings. It's not just wind, that's not doing it many favours. It's also affecting all of this wonderful snow because... The other thing I like about this is the direction of your wind is the direction that your snow's falling as well. That's a massive thing. It's wonderful. So sit back, enjoy. We're going to play about, learn how to use this. Well, not really learn. I'm just going to tweak settings, play about with sliders, and see if I can make my scenes more snowy or less snowy at the end of the day and make wind go crazy. Because we all know I haven't really got a clue what I'm doing. So sit back, enjoy, and I'll see you all in a second. Messy Coder back inside Unity with Winter Environment Nature Pack from Angry Mesh. Actually, this is a collaboration that Angry Mesh has made with Boxophobic. They've created what they're calling the AG Global Settings, which is an advanced GPU wind system. They say it's intuitive and easy to use, and you can see the wind blowing about. But it's not just wind in this pack. This isn't a wind pack. This is a nature pack, and actually a winter nature pack, hence all the lovely snow on the floor. And first thing I have to say is that snow is very difficult to do. Very difficult to get snow looking right. And they've done a great job because the snow textures on the floor, on the ground rather, look realistic. We've got different colours. We've got dirt. We've got indentations. It looks nice. The snow on the objects doesn't look too washed out. And it also doesn't look too dull. So it's a nice blend. It's a, you get a powdery look sometimes. And some you can make it a little bit stronger. It's a very realistic, very immersive snow. I'm enjoying it. Snow on the trees. Now, we're going to play about with the settings. And as you say, snow on the trees, obviously we're getting trees in this pack. Two different types of trees in this pack. We're also getting rocks, grass. I'm going to play about in the other demo scene so you can see all of the things that we get in this pack. I have to say, the quality in the obvious trees are fantastic. I really do like these trees. They are, uh, I prefer them to the speed trees that I've got. I'm already using his rocks from the other pack that we reviewed in my games that I make. So, you know, that's what I can say is a massive seal of approval. If I like them so much, I'm using them. These rocks, no different. They're fantastic. Now, we played about with the other rock pack, and he had the ability to add moss and snow on the other rocks. So, obviously, this pack seems to be an extension of that learning that he's made there. So, he learned, and he's made his... He's rocks with snow, and in this pack, he's gone over and beyond. So, how good is this shader? Well, this if you've got Amplify Shader Editor, you can actually see for yourself, because it is compatible, you can load it up, and you can see all the functions that are included. Now, uh, also, I have to say, this works with Vegetation Studio, Vegetation Studio, put my teeth in, and Vegetation Studio Pro. Very important. Very important to say this pack works with Veg Studio and Veg Studio Pro straight out of the box. So, what is the AG Global Settings? Well, it gives you control of global wind settings such as direction, amplitude, speed scale, and mesh stiffness. Mesh stiffness, you can have a lot of fun because you can make your trees go very jelly like. You can control the wind settings both across globally, across the scene, and locally for each material. This is great as well because it means that you can adjust differently the rigidity of my, say, this tree and also these plants and things here, but also not affect this tree, this tree over here, if I wanted. So that's very important because, um, actually, it's three different types of trees in this pack, not just two, three different types. As I say, looking at this massive tree here, three different types of trees. I do apologize. I'm a fool. 
Now, in addition to the wind settings that you can use in this AG global settings, there's also parameters for AO, translucency, tint color, and snow, because obviously this is a snowpack, so you would be able to control the snow. Again, you've got global settings, and you've got local settings as well. Now, these textures are wonderful. High res, uh, obviously photo scanned textures, so it does look lovely. Importantly, says the trees have a low overdraw with a low draw core usage. Performance, if I pop over here and I click on the game and we click on our little stats, actually, it's going to be a little bit misleading. Well, let's go come in here. I'm getting pretty damn good FPS count for a scene with a load of trees and snow going on, I have to say. So I'm not complaining here one bit. And if you shove this into Red Studio, it'll be even better. Now, obviously, this wasn't optimized. This scene is just placed a load of trees. So if you are going to use this in a game, you do it properly. So use things like Red Studio. Use things like Gina. Make the most out of the optimization of your projects. They just chuck everything around really nearly. Now, uh, also, importantly to say that this pack works with CTS and Mega Splat because no one's using standard Unity terrain shader anymore, are you? Nobody. Everyone's gone over to CTS or Mega Splat by now. So, note to worry, not to worry, this pack works with it out of the box as well. Now, I'm going to just get out of one time and I want to show you this little green thing that floats about. Uh, where is it? Over here. I can't click on that one because that was the scene view. Here he is, green thing. Now, let's find some wind. Here we go. So we've got wind going on. If I rotate this little badger, you can see the direction of the wind changing. Ooh, ooh. Also, you can see the snow. Look over here. The snow changing as well. It's pretty damn funky. Pretty damn funky, I have to say. All right, because obviously snow's being blown in from the wind, so snow's going to settle the direction that the wind's coming in. Now, if I go over to this little badger and I zoom in here, and if we go to this log and we look at this lod, we can see that we've got here our props snow. And if I go to Angry Mesh Nature Pack. And I say, you know what, I don't want the snow, I just want props. Bang! Straight in, just with props. And as you can see, these photorealistic textures are lovely. We've got a little bit of warping going here on the branch at the end. Let's see a little twist up there over there. But, you know, nature does work in mysterious ways. It's not flawless, 100% perfect, as though we are really in the forest. But I'm going to say, I'm not really going to notice that when I'm running around in a game. This little bit here on the branch, twist like there. This little bit of distortion here. Not entirely sure I'm going to notice that when I'm running about, but just got a highlight every now and again. You are going to get a little bit of imperfection somewhere. And oops, if I go here back to my angry mesh and I go back to my snow and I open him up, you know nothing, John Snow. And I can play about with obviously my smoothness, my AO intensity, my normals. But here's where the magic happens on this little badger. Now, if I change down my intensity, see here, we go, oh, beep. there you go, oh, it's a bit too bright, a bit too strong, you just hit straight in. Well, actually, this is where my contrast offset comes into play here. So my offset, let's tweak that down, very lightly dusted snow, and put that back how it was, and I can play about with my contrast as well. So make it a little bit, goes a little bit grey, dull here. Put that back up here and bang up my intensity. Bang, that's, that snow has fallen really thick. And now, bang it up, more snow keeps on falling, keeps on falling. Oh my god, it's a winter wonderland! And then, there you go, bang, completely covered in snow. The kids are going to go outside and make a snowman. No, we're not going to start singing. Shall we sing? No, let's not do it. We don't want Disney to come and claim the royalties of this video because my singing voice sounds exactly the same as it would do in a Disney movie. Because 
that's exactly what would happen. Now, this is uh, what makes this exciting actually for me is that you know GPU is handling a lot of this work, so you don't have to worry about your CPU, you don't have to worry about performance. Um, and the other thing that you've got to remember is that all of this stuff here, PBR textures, are beautifully done and scanned in. Lovely little tweaks, little bit of a magic that's happened because at the end of the day, if you just scan in a texture and put it in doesn't always mean that you're gonna have great quality so obviously this guy here Mr. Angry Mesh knows his craft I like the fact that his wood is so good that I don't even need to worry about using the shader if I click here open this plank and I change because oh yeah we can go Angry Mesh standard props which is well and good He's got his own shader here that you can change these settings. But you know what? I could just use bang the standard one, and it still looks just as tasty. Look at that! And I love, I love what I love about this imperfections. Imperfection make things real. Imperfection make things lovely. Imperfections make things, you know, messy. I love it. I really do. I've loaded up demo scene two because I want to play about with some of these trees. I want to show you this tree here. This tree, lovely tree. If I go and have a look at him, where, where are you? And we open up this lod. Here we go. Here's our lovely tree. And you see, we've got some green still going on. Well, you think, okay, if I now just, oh, it's at the top. Here we go. Our branch here is at the bottom. And if I say, you know what? My intensity is at one. I'm just going to crank up my offset. Bang. There you go, big white Christmas tree. Well, we've still got some green going on. So we can go here, bang in, back face snow as well. Bang, now we've got a really big white tree. That's not all you can do with this. I can sit here and I can play about with strength here. See that? Intensify a little bit there. And here we go. And you know what? I'm also going to play about and I'm going to make... Um, my wind. I'm going to make it go a bit more windy. So I'm going to put this up to uh, three here. I'm going to put my stiffness down to one. Straight away, bang. Now it tells us we need to do it in both places. So we go three and one here. Look at our tree. The tree's now blowing around in the wind. Now I'll make my tree um, two stiffness. Okay. Two. Two is a good number. There we go. So it still moves a bit. We've got quite a lot of wind going on, but it's not so violent. It's not it's not a rubber tree. And we know the roots ripped out. Also, we've got the control over the uh, the branches themselves. So we've got here uh amplitude for our leaves. Look I'm wobbling around like crazy. Now uh, we've all got the speed. We want to make them go even faster. Boing, 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 boing. It's crazy, that is, isn't it? And also, obviously, we've got the stiffness. We can go put that down here. And, oh, that's going to make you dizzy. That's going to make you dizzy. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's put that back down how it was. And put that one back down to one. Now, we've got another type of tree. Also, we've got these seed trees. Where are they? We've got A, Bs, and Cs. Three different types of trees. So if I now do a similar kind of thing with this one. So if we go the branches at the top this time. And we say, you know what? Bang. Look at that. This is windy. This is windy. And if we put our... Oh look, this is on the D material. So we put you up to three. And you to one. And you to three. And you to one. Now we've got a very windy tree as well. I love the fact that we can control the, the settings for the wind on these individual items and also the global settings as well that we've got control over. Look at the snow. Get a lot of stuff in this pack. And a good variation of the, the smaller trees and bushes, which is important. You've got a good variation of those small trees and bushes. And also the fact that you don't have to have the snow on these bushes. And there we go. Let's pop into the other demo scene so you can really enjoy what you get with this pack. 
Now I've put in, let's get rid of this, we don't need this anymore. We've put in a fly cam so we can fly about and really enjoy ourselves. As we see here, we get three different types of trees and even three different types of grass down here at the bottom in this pack. 55 bucks normally. And if you are going to get it on a sale under 50% off, that's 27.50. And I love the different variations of little bushes that we have, stubby little bushes, big bushes. And then we've got here the trees as well, different variations of these charts, this style of tree. Let me pop over here before we get to that one. Let's have a look at these rocks because we do know Angry Mesh from his rocks and he's not let us down this time. He didn't got a massive collection of rocks, but I think this would work well with his other rock pack. Rock on, baby. Let's go over to this tree. I like about this tree is that there's got no floating branches. Everything's well connected. Nothing breaking your immersion. Big trees wobbling around at the top, stiff at the bottom. That's how we like it. Oh no, there's been a tragic accident and these have fallen down. That's cool. That's cool. Look at that. Again, you can all see play with the snow, have them with or without. It says snow pack, and we've got some stumpy trees here that have been chopped down or broken down. And we've got some planks that have fallen down. Nice variation of shapes of branches. And over here, you can never have too many fences. And he's got good wood on his fence. The thing I like most about his wood is the imperfections on the wood, the character that the wood has really do really doesn't make a difference to me. And it makes makes me enjoy wood. It makes me think that's good wood when there's character and there's a story behind the wood. And here we've got our oh, little planks here to walk along. Put that in your tent. These ones broken or being put together or old and disheveled here. Oh <gasps> a word. They're just piling them up. Oh dear, they need to fix that. They need to fix the fence. That's not acceptable. What are they doing all day long? Here, another style of tree. Not as big as that tree. And like nature says, not everything's perfect. You've got some bent branches. You've got some big ones, some little ones. Making nature have different sizes and shapes and colours is what makes nature beautiful. They've got these massive trees. Look at that. Massive. Going to climb way up to the top. Oh, wow. It's the jack going to the top of the beanstalk. And while we're up here, we get a good view of our trees. So this is it. This is the uh, na this is winter environment nature pack from Angry Mesh. You can, as I say, pick it up fifty-five bucks on the asset store normally, or twenty-seven fifty when it's made madness. I honestly would grab this during the made madness sale because you're not going to go wrong. I would have liked to have seen maybe a fourth style of tree, but hey. Is that me being greedy? I think that might be me being greedy. And also, let's not forget, I nearly did forget, look at him in the background. Some mountains for you to be able to put in the background. It's just fill out your scenes. Can't complain about that, can we? What a nice little gift. So some backdrop mountains to play with. Well, there it is. That is our pack, the Ladder Muck and Power, which we made madness. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you uh, need some nature in your life, go check it out. Otherwise, enjoy the sci-fi worlds that we're going to be playing about with coming up soon as well. So if you do like these videos and you want to see more, do tell your friends, your neighbours, random people on the street that Nessie Kodo is playing about with the Winter Environment Pack from Angry Mesh. And if you do like it, click it. Until next time. If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button. And right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Until next time.